Praise the Lord, global Christian friends. This is Bishop Young again, and we thank you, and we greet you in that holy and righteous name of Jesus. And we like to welcome you again to our book of Revelation. I'm just so thrilled that the Lord has assigned uh, this great task unto us and how glad we are. There is so much that we need to understand and when we give the knowledge other than the book of Revelation, we are giving leverage because there are so many of us that don't know the book. There are so many of us that fear the book. There are so many of us in the church that don't know about the book of Revelation. And uh, we give extra knowledge so that you may have leverage. For instance, when the book of Revelation came to Jesus from God, did it come down from heaven to Jesus or did it pass over to Jesus? And uh, we know that scripture says that Jesus was the heir. Scripture also says that the heir has an angel ministering for them. Therefore, we can understand clearly about Jesus using the angel to carry the book further over unto John. And we know that John has an angel. And uh, things we need to understand further is that the moment you become an heir of God, uh, he assigns you an angel. And the moment that you become a seed of the Lord Jesus Christ. He assigns you a kingdom. Now, we need to understand uh, those things because when we began to look at the Word of God, uh, and began to study in depth the Word of God. We began to understand things of the nature that if you are placed in Him before the foundation of the world, isn't it godly wise to shake the heavens before they pass away to see who you are. Now, that may not sound like it's in Scripture, but it is in Scripture. And uh, we desire you to pay attention to the things and uh, these great leverages that God is giving you so that it would make the book of Revelation to those servants so much more appealing without being burdensome and thinking, well, there are too many symbolisms or it is so deep or I am so afraid 
or my pastor won't permit us to read the book of Revelation. Well, we're going to uh, go into the 10th verse of chapter 1. And there it says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Think about that statement. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And if you desire a brief follow-up of the verse that's just above, which is verse 9, you look at the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ that those who overcame use the same that they may be able to overcome. And uh, He is with everyone that is His in the great tribulation period. Now, going back to the verse we had just read, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. I was spiritually encapsulated. It's very, very, very uh, clear for us to understand uh, this statement that hearing a great voice behind me as of a trumpet. Think about that statement. You being encapsulated in the Spirit of the Lord uh, and there you find that there is a voice behind you in the tenor of a trumpet. And that is good for us to understand. And it's good for us to understand on all kinds of levels that God himself want us to be able to receive this thing. Look, we know who God is. We see what God does. We see his concern for the servants. We can't talk about other gods because we don't know other gods. We've heard about some. There are some that eat their children or ate their children. There are some that has prophets, but there has not been heard of a God that was so concerned about the subjects of his son until he would give unto his son the knowledge to take the cover off to make it easier for his servants to be able to receive that which he is going to give. Now, think about that statement and think about the kind of God that he is. And when you focus in on the kind of God that he is, nothing seems impossible, nothing seems improbable, and he is so concerned about you. And uh, what did Jesus say? He said, all that ever came before me were thieves and robbers, and that's what they were. There has not been in the pantheon of the gods that we have heard of that was able to show what God is showing toward you through his son, Christ Jesus. 
Now, if you say you know the Lord and don't have the Spirit, you don't know the Lord. If you don't have His Spirit of life, you don't know the Lord, and you are none of His. And if you are not the servant of the Lord, uh, this book is not for you. And uh, that's to the advantage of the Christians, but to the disadvantage of the non-Christians. God bless you. Until the next time, amen.